Aloha! This is Dr. Tiki, writing a prescription for tiki drinks, tattoos, and tech. What could be more fun? It's time for another Strange Love Live. This is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Kao. Welcome, babies. Good evening and welcome to Strange Love Live. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. We've got Morgan PDX and Dr. Norble behind the producer's desk, and this evening we are joined by my very lovely friend, my very tall friend, my very, very smart and sassy friend, <laughs> Michelle Anderson. Hi, Cammy. Hi, Michelle. How are you? I'm great. I'm exhausted. I'm tired, but you, I'm here. Yeah, you look fantastic. You don't look exhausted or tired. You look <laughs> fabulous. Fabulous. Look at yourself. My God. Thank you. I can't compete. Thank you. I'm glad I didn't try. <laughs> so, flattery will get you everywhere. Now we can talk about your project. Um, first, your media check on Twitter. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we can find you easily there. If you don't follow her on Twitter, please go right now. Twitter.com slash media tick. For the love of God, follow her. She's so crafty. I don't know what to do. Not like crafty, like she's going to make kittens and <laughs> scrapbooks or the good kind. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm really putting my foot in my mouth tonight. You'll have to forgive me for that. Let's move on. Let's talk about <laughs> The Miracle in July, which you've come on to talk about before. Yeah. It's a multimedia interactive story extravaganza. Yeah, yeah, it says. It's a draft. It's, a, it's a draft. It's a draft. But it's, it's the online draft. It's the one that's available to everyone mm -hmm. on the internet. Mm -hmm. It's sultry. Right. And it's dirty. <laughs> and it's, it's gritty. And it's upsetting. It's and it's truly life. honest. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you've been writing it for how long now? Since July 6th of last year. Since July 6th of last year. And something very special happens on Monday. What happens on Monday? On uh, this Monday, I publish my very last segment mm -hmm. of the draft of the story, and I'll have about a hundred thousand words all together. Wow! Yeah, no yeah. kidding, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah, now it there is. is one more piece left, and that's the epilogue. Correct, but this is the, the main yeah. body of Act work. Act three will Act be three finished. will be complete next Monday, and this will be the last piece, and it's not finished yet. Oh, it's never going to be finished. Yeah. That's well, the no, beauty of no, it. But, but the post for Monday. Oh, no, no, no. no, no one no, near, no, no. right? See, yes. I, I'm actually, while I'm here, I should be at home. Type, 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 mm -hmm. Yes, but, you know, that's part of the, the challenge of the, the savvy um, writer is, you know, promoting yourself at the same time. So there's this duality mm -hmm. there. I have to break away from the, the angsty writer mindset and, mm -hmm. and go and promote the story. So about how many how many segments have there been? This is the third act. Third act. Mm -hmm. I was good yeah. And how many chapters, how many segments have been in each act? This would be the twenty sixth. Wow. Yeah. 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 And how much time went into each um each each piece? Um, to produce one segment? Yeah. Anywhere from 30 to 40 hours. Yeah. A lot of time. Yeah. That's, and that's not just, you know, the, the sleeping that no. needs to happen between. No. As we discussed, there is a method, and the method consists largely of napping and showering and writing. For the creative juices to flow you correctly, need, you need, you you know, need you, those you, things. You, you're you're going to kill yourself if you're doing all of your creative thinking in front of the computer. Correct. You have I, to get up and move around. And yeah. I told Michelle that I actually prefer the shower, no, the nap, shower, nap method. I like to get all, I like to, I think that's really important. I get really tired in the shower. I can see how that would happen. Yeah. Shower. Yeah. Well, you got the nap first because then you wait for the nap and you're all right. sweaty and you're like, yeah. I, need, I need a shower. And then you go and take the shower, <laughs> right? I've been doing this wrong the whole time. <laughs> you need to follow these simple instructions. And then I think you'll finish the story more more effectively, more quickly. 
Well, that'll be very helpful because this last <laughs> segment is it's really is kicking my ass. Because <laughs> you have to fit everything in. Everything has to go into this. Everything that you've alluded to, everything that you've highlighted, everything that's been a part of the story has to be concluded. By yeah. Monday. Why are you in my basement I right don't now? Know. <laughs> what are you well, doing here? Well, because I have another thing to promote on top mm, of that. You do. So I have another ulterior motive mm, for being here. Okay. Well, let's get to the ulterior motive okay. then. And it's what everyone's ulterior motive always, always, always is. She wants money. I need some money. <laughs> I need some money. So, um, you are using Kickstarter. Going mm -hmm. through Kickstarter, so uh, maybe we can get the, the URL, URL <coughs> up for that. You, why don't you tell us first what you're trying to fund? Because you're trying to fund some very specific things. Yes. I am trying to raise funds for a trip to Denmark. Mm -hmm. And while I'm there, I have a very jam-packed schedule of things that I want to do. Mm -hmm. um, and that includes collecting media mm -hmm. and networking. Mm -hmm. um, By networking, you mean going to parties and hanging I out mean, with people that are fun? I'm going to take meetings <laughs> and bars. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. And, and uh, I'm going to be listening to, to some bands. Uh -huh. You know, There's some people that I've met, uh, met along the way of writing The Miracle in July and that are based in, in Denmark. And there's some people that I met at South by Southwest, mm -hmm. which we'll talk about later. Yeah, we'll get that, into that. We have um, to save that for the end or we'll go on for too long. That I've <laughs> met in the course of South by Southwest that are also um, connected to Denmark. So mm -hmm. while I'm there, I'll be, um, you know, how do you, how do you say this? Fostering those relationships. Nurturing them. <laughs> Nurturing, Nurturing them. the relationships. Nurturing them. Uh, doing some pitching. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, like my contacts have people that they'd like me to, like me to meet. So yeah. they'll go and, and spread the, the idea of the publishing experiment. It, 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 and not that, just the story, but how yeah. I'm doing storytelling. That trip is to further, because you've done now the online part, the big multimedia part with the music and the linking to places mm -hmm. and the story itself, mm -hmm. and you've done it in a really new and very exciting way, but the next step is traditional publishing. Yes, but and also to, um, I, I need my own media. Yes. So I've used user-generated content to tell mm -hmm. the story, the mm -hmm. draft story, to get people interested in reading it yeah. and, and to attract readers, basically. Yeah. Um, but as I move forward with my other um, formats, of the story, mm -hmm. I need you know I need to own the the images and you the, have to own the, rights the videos to everything. And, yeah. and all that. And plus, you know, I need to go back and do some some fact checking. I mean, yeah. So, am I calling the places that I've described in the book the accurately? Right thing, because you know, <laughs> it's you know it's it's a genre bending. There's so there's mm -hmm. some uh, there's a whole section in the act. Well, there's a lot of it takes place um, that didn't really happen. So, yeah. like when I go back and I stay in the uh, the cottage and and stay there for a while. I need to go back and you know back check. Yeah, make sure that you're make sure you're doing it right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have four percent of the funding that you need. I have four percent. A measly four percent, people. <laughs> four. Well, and four. see, and here's the tragedy. <laughs> Here's the tragedy. For a mere ten dollars, you can get your name in my tawdry novel. I don't know if you've uh, been familiar with some of the other words that are in her novel. You might want your name in there. There's some... Bragging rights alone. Hello. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's the Kickstarter link. You guys should go there. Support Media Chick. And Sarah also. Yeah. Because you're not going to go by yourself to Denmark. Well, I can't. See, here's the thing. That would be horrible. <clears throat> well, here's the thing. All right. Not... Uh, I can't take video of myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I mean, you could, but it would be a sad video. I can't, and, and there, I need, I do need somebody to do my hair. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. <laughs> and take pictures of me. And, <laughs> With your fabulous hair. Uh, right. And there's, there's this person, this Sarah, mm -hmm. is also you know somebody I've known for a long time, and um, would be somebody who's good for keeping me on track. Mm -hmm. but worse, worse than me at being you know, super like detail oriented is Sarah. So uh -huh. there's no there's no chance <laughs> of not kicking the ass of my schedule. Uh -huh. 
Mm-hmm. Very good. So you and Sarah will take your trip. You'll do your fact finding. You'll get all of your media that you need. You'll mm-hmm. get your information. If only you people would give her some money. It's really simple. I mean, hello. Seriously, could you just go help her? Because otherwise, she's going to sit on my couch all night begging for money. And this is not a telethon. I don't do I a, I don't do a telethon until days. July. Well, see, and here's the thing. It's all or nothing. That's an important thing for people to understand. Yeah. I have 32 days to, to raise $5,000. Uh-huh. Or you don't get any of it. Oh, I don't get any of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what happens if they pledge the money? Oh, I have some tasty rewards. So, no, what happens if they pledge the money, but then you don't make the 5000 Then nobody gets charged. Nobody gets charged. Yeah. See, after... It's after like rolling s- the dice. Do you like to gamble? Do you like to gamble? Because if you like to gamble, who knows? I mean... Well, it's, it's an investment opportunity. <laughs> it really is. So, what are the tasty rewards? What are the incentives for people? I have all kinds of stuff. I'll try to remember some of them off the top of my okay. head. The, 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 the bottom, the, the, the bottom tier is ten bucks. Yeah. For your name or your dog's name or your Ron Jeremy name. It's like a brick in the square. Or your name or whatever you book. want. It can be there. Yeah. Whatever. Um, if you want to change your name to Rumpelstiltskin and what have her put it in there, ever. she'll think you're creepy what and all. Hey, but you know, you could spend thirty bucks and get three names. I'm just saying. Hmm? Mm. Just saying. Hmm. You yeah. could. Yeah. That's and good then, math. <laughs> and then I'm also getting together some t-shirts. Ooh. Ooh. T-shirts. They're not the fancy pants embroidered ones, that's right? The, that's the more. That's the, yeah. the twenty-five nice. dollar tier. Is, is the t-shirts. And, uh, oh, the Venice is for Lovers Erotica nice. book. Nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. Which, I don't know if you've bought it or not. She hasn't bought it yet. I haven't. <clears throat> I have not. No. <laughs> but it's really well made. <laughs> I <laughs> believe it. I believe what she's saying to me. I am I am um, behind the times and lazy. And, um, Yeah. And a horrible person. I'm also a horrible, a a horrible person. For good erotic stories, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that one. We'll just leave no, that no, alone. No, we'll just leave no, that no. one alone. Never. Just drop it. Not even, not even the content alone. It's just like I spent a lot yeah. of time putting together the ebook, so yeah. it's it's got a lot of. Uh, Interactivity in it. The, the table of contents is linked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a good looking. I don't know book. what we've done, but producer Morgan's got the giggles back there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's very comfortable talking about erotica. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, and then what are the other incentives? Are there more? Can you think of any others? Yes, um, I plan to compile. Um, you know, an, another ebook that's all about what I learned in my experience of doing the miracle in July. <laughs> stop laughing. I'm sorry. I'm, being I'm serious. not on camera. I'm stop, being stop. Serious. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you look at your camera. All right. Um, Anyway, I'm putting together, just, uh, uh, along the way of doing the Miracle on July, I've learned a couple of mm-hmm. things, and I've, I've had a lot of conversations with the writers who want to do the same thing, so yeah. I'm, I'm part of the, the next tier of incentives. You haven't told them how crazy it is and how much hard work it is and how, like, maybe they should yes. be a little and more sane. they still want to do it. All right, they're dedicated. Crazy, right? Yeah, well, crazy, no, or, crazy well, I can people. identify with the crazy. Yeah, so can I understand. I, I like the crazy people. They're my people. They're a challenge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So this ebook that I haven't written yet is mm-hmm. going to be part of the um, incentive package. Yes, Very and nice. I also gonna I can I, I can do some one on one stuff. I have like a crazy five hundred dollar reward that is everything plus like six hours of one on one time with me when I talk about like your project and like nice. give you advice and like those You're hardcore selling yourself. transmedia storytellers that mm-hmm. want to go the distance. Mm. All right. God knows I have advice to give. So how many, 32 days left? 32 days, 32 very short days. All right, come on. So if you just got $10 a day, that would not be enough. I'm just saying it wouldn't. It no. would not be enough, people. It wouldn't. it wouldn't. We need more than that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, see, here's the thing. <clears throat> A friend of mine told me that the, you know, the ebook 
Venice is for lovers. Yeah. That people might be hesitant to buy it because it is for sale because they don't want me to know that they bought it. Right. So this is their theory, oh. right? That, you know, and I so I I just would, would like to put it out there that if you do the twenty five dollar tier, <laughs> you're buying her silence you're, as well. You're you're it's just you know natural benefit. So you're not buying the porn. <laughs> you're not getting the porn. You're just no, supporting you're, the show. You're just donating to the cause. And you can throw that porn away. You don't have to ever look at it. Yeah. So it's like a, a, a just you know just do the twenty five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My advice. She's very thoughtful. It's a very considerate of her. It just makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. This, do they still get their name in? Oh yeah, they get everything oh, plus. So it goes. It's, it's just, a graduation It's just tier. like it's just like a pledge drive. You you get. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know something about those pledge drivers. Yes, but we're yeah. not promoting my stuff right now. We're promoting your stuff right, <laughs> right now. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. But you know something about. Although it. I do know something about it, and it does have the word July. I mean, let's be fair. It is in July that my next one. I know. Yeah. July second, right? July second and third. Yeah. Thirty hour day. 30hourday.org for more information. Um, yeah. And it, it, if all things go well, back on plastic, <laughs> we will be okay. back for the 30 hour. And you can hang out with us in the square. I can because I couldn't before. See, my life is going to totally so, open it up. It was so hectic. Well, I, I was too. I was. Type, typey, type, type. How, how am I typing? Like. <laughs> yeah, that's like an accordion. I don't know what, what you're doing. I don't know. It's this way. It's like this. Yeah. <laughs> it just makes sense when you do it. It does, right? It will. You know, there's something up here that just makes it all okay. <laughs> I can type wherever I want to. I've got a good dress. It allows me to type things <laughs> in an extraordinary way. So this is not the first time that you've looked for funding. You actually got a grant. Yes. Do you like my segue? You, so that I, we can talk about something fun. Not that that wasn't fun because it totally was, but you got a grant. Yeah. Can you believe it? To go to South by Southwest. Crazy. How on earth did you get a grant <laughs> to go? Do, were they not, were they not aware that it's like spring break for geeks? Were they not aware that they were giving you money to I go? I wanted to go for a long time. Yeah. So I was aware of its awesomeness, but I was not aware that I could get money to go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here it, 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 I I I I had this idea that I wanted to go and that I would just get a grant mm -hmm. to go. So I went and I applied for the grant and they gave me the grant and I went. And you went. And it was what? just that easy. <coughs> <laughs> How do you apply for a grant to go to South by Southwest? I don't. I'm and not <laughs> I need to get a project so that I can apply for a grant. It was just, it was so just like one go. of those things. That's where it. it was just so surreal when I when you told me. Yeah, I, I was like, what? You got a grant to go to South by what? Yeah, I, well, see, and that's the, that those that's the one one of the things that happens along the way of doing the whole miracle in July thing, yeah. where I'm like, oh, okay. So I must be doing something right. Well, yeah. maybe I should be doing this if yeah. I'm gonna. gonna be, <laughs> I guess I, I should go. I mean, if they're giving me money and shit, I should go. Yeah. So let's have a serious, we'll, we'll, we'll devolve into the chaos of South by later, but let's talk about the reason that you felt it necessary to go to South by Southwest for this project. Um, as I so eloquently explained in my proposal, which I can't remember anymore, yeah. basically was that... There's all kinds of innovative storytelling that's going on right now. Mm -hmm. But I haven't found anybody doing what I'm doing. Correct. So my whole idea was I need to go down there and talk to people who are doing things that are similar to what I'm doing and mm -hmm. tell them what I'm doing mm -hmm. and uh, do some collaborating and pitching. Mm -hmm. um, Did you find any bands. of those people? Hmm? Did you find any of those people? Yes. <laughs> Good. Yes, yes, yes. Um, God, it, it, there's just so much. Where do you want me to start? I mean, it was the South by Southwest still still resonates in my everyday life. I mean, I'm still getting. Yeah. So let's uh, let's let's stick on the practical side. Did you you met people who were doing similar projects, similar things to what mm -hmm. you were doing, mm -hmm. and you didn't know they were out there before, so you got to go there and find them there. Yes, and most of these people were sitting next to me in, you know, panels on the future of storytelling yeah. and, and things like that. Yeah. 
but still didn't find anyone who's doing what I'm doing. Correct. Yes. But I did get to talk to people like um, the marketing director for Vook. Uh-huh. I don't know if you know what Vook is. I'm guessing it's an online book kind of thing. Kind of. It's an iPhone um, app. Okay, see, there and you I go. I haven't actually ever seen one because I don't have an iPhone. I have one. But you can uh, download a book. Uh-huh. And, uh, they're a it's like short, an e-book. Sort of. Kind of, no? Sort of. Uh, they, they have Nobody to- call me right now, okay? <laughs> I'm serious. You will have to suffer the wrath of uh, Dr. <sighs> Normal and Morgan. <clears throat> Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look it up. Anyway, a book uh-huh. <laughs> is an iPhone app where you can download a book. Uh, they they've done classics and they've done originals. So like mm-hmm. for instance, you can read. Uh, I think they do Pretty Woman, um, but it's only thirty thousand words, so it's been condensed quite a bit, mm-hmm. and it has a lot of video embedded in it, so you can see. Oh, so you download in the each video. you download each. A piece individually. It's not. A, it's not an app. It looks like it's a bunch of little. So you see. So there's all these different books. Mm-hmm. So it's not like one. I was thinking it was an app, and then you would then download the the stories into it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. They, it's not. It's their its own little, it's own little um, unit. Very cool. So Here, um, which camera? Just show me which camera to point this at. Focus. Is it? Okay. Let me fix it. <laughs> <laughs> so, and they, they've got like. Our crew is uh, fantastic, aren't they, ladies and gentlemen? Sherlock Holmes. They've Yay got, for the cameraman. They've got Crush It on there. Uh-huh. Alice in Wonderland, Phantom of the Opera, The mm-hmm. Call of the Wild. Mm-hmm. So, these are like, you know, excerpts, like the, the, the crust of mm-hmm. the story, which is uh, uh, kind of similar, I guess, to what I'm doing with American Lives Live, which yeah. is creating tons of content and then like slicing it up and making new things out of it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you've got these classics that book is reshaping and, you know, creating into a new experience, a new way of telling the same story and making money yeah. doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I pitched a miracle and July to that guy and mm-hmm. he took <laughs> he took a look at it and sent me an email and said, uh, yeah, I don't think iTunes is going to let us do, you know, something so racy. They're not big on the erotica? No. No, that's actually he was saying that there's actually a big demand for uh-huh. Well, erotica. no, iTunes, though. Is iTunes? I, they, I guess either their contract with iTunes or the uh-huh. iTunes store was a no Cause they have, policy. Because they've got a Kama Sutra app in the iTunes store, so. Yeah, it, it, no, I, I don't think know it's like how. an e-book type, or maybe their contract, but he, he said they wouldn't, they, um, he said that um, it was a very interesting idea and that like had a lot of content um content and yeah. you know it was interesting where it was going with but because of the erotica it was something they had considered in the future because there is a large market mm-hmm. for erotic um ebooks mm-hmm. maybe having a spin-off type publishing house snook because it's very lucrative <laughs> <laughs> wrong with me what? right now? What? Crazy. It must be all that tea. Yes. The tea. I'm getting funny. I don't know. I don't like it when the producers make hand signals at me. I'm not sure what they do. I'm just going to go back to talking to Michelle. Okay, so what what else did you find in your fact finding at South by Southwest? Um, let's see. I met, I met uh, Pete Cashmore. Mm-hmm. A couple of different times. You've been waiting fun. to work that one in. <laughs> <laughs> he, the, the boy just impressed me. Uh-huh. I mean, not only is he good looking and articulate, mm-hmm. but he just has like a presence. And uh, th- just, uh, you know, he's he's so good looking that he must like all the time get girls just fawning all over him. And uh, he's so non pulsed by that. Mm-hmm. It was just a, it was a surreal experience. So, uh, I went up to him and I introduced myself to him outside of the speakeasy. Mm-hmm. He was uh, surrounded by people. Mm-hmm. And uh, he said, so what do you do? And I said, oh, and this is actually the first time I, I pitched anybody, like, super, like, to me, you know, an idol. Someone that you were impressed by. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
And I said, oh, I, I guess I'm supposed to pitch you now. And he goes, ha, ha. And uh, so I told him a little bit about what I was doing, and, mm -hmm. and he was very interested in the interactivity part of it. Mm -hmm. And I said I was using Apture, which is a plugin that makes the Miracle in July all fancy and mm -hmm. multimedia mm -hmm. stuff. And he'd heard of Apture before, and so it was a very short conversation. But then, a couple of days later, I was at the Mashable party at the Buffalo Billards. The one where I was like, I don't remember the Mashable party. <laughs> I do. I just couldn't keep track of which party was which party. That's all. I was there. I remember it. I just couldn't remember who hosted what. There was Poor a lot Cameron. of parties. <laughs> oh my god. There were a lot of parties. There were. So you ran into him again at the Mashable party. I did. Mm -hmm. And you were I very excited. I ran into him. Oh, did you? It was one of those... Michelle's very graceful. <laughs> She is, except for when she does the yay, we're going to South by Southwest dance with me. That's not so <laughs> graceful. It's kind of a sad looking dance, but we were really happy. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, are you done? I'm done. <laughs> I'm kind of non sequitur girl this evening. Right on. Yeah. Dang it. I will. So I'll, there I'll we have were, more. the two of us, <laughs> in the crowded room, right? right. Yeah. Um, so Crowded I, is I not a great him, word, but he, yeah. was, he was strangely alone. Um, <gasps> I know, strangely alone. So I bump into him, and he goes, oh, the woman with the interactive novel. And I said, that's me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we hit it off. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was over. <laughs> And then, and then right after that, I walked down the stairs, and it was straight out of Friends, because they're sitting at the bar where you and Doc Normal and Kavitin and Jake mm -hmm. and Griggs. Griggs was, yeah, I believe Griggs was there, and um, uh, probably Trozzi and Glassby. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he was, he was bouncing around also. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I vaguely remember it was a full house of everybody Portland crazy. touching each other's... But <laughs> I think I was bragging about working out. You were. I remember squeezing your bum. Yeah. And it was it was hard, like a little rock. <laughs> yeah. I was riding on the few, you know, the the euphoria of uh, Cashmere remembering me. Well, you've seen him. You've seen him. Come on. No, I don't even know. I don't know who he is. I'm sorry. He's like, I don't know, know who anyone is. I don't know who anyone is. That's the. I don't know who anyone is. Mm. You can show me a picture later, and then maybe I'll be like, oh, hi. But no, I'm sorry. It, well, it, it, you'd be like, for this guy, you'd be like, oh, shit, of course I know this guy. That's probably, that's usually how it works. Because unless <laughs> I've actually met someone face to face. Uh huh. Yeah. I don't have enough room in my brain for that kind of stuff. I'm too busy thinking about going nap, shower, nap, or shower, nap, shower. Mm -hmm. It's difficult for me. You gotta loosen up those creative juices. I know. know. I have to. I have a lot on my mind. I have my three should showers. I vacuum the living room or should I paint my nails? <laughs> what should I do now? I don't know. I don't need a massage. Yeah. I've had like four showers today already. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, I'm not I'm, well, I'm not willing to delve into the insanity yet. <laughs> we still have more content. You didn't just go for the interactive, though. You also went for the music part, because a big, big part of the Miracle in July is incorporating music yep. of all different kinds mm -hmm. into the format. Yep. So you got them to pay you to go to concerts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you gotta understand, it, it, it wasn't a full ride. No. I did I did still pump down a, a large chunk of cash. Yeah. Um, but yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How'd that, how'd that go for you? How many bands Are you, you mad at me? <laughs> no, I'm not mad at you. I'm not upset with you. I still love you. It's okay. I still love you. What? <laughs> Morgan might not though. She didn't get to go, so I wouldn't count Thank on her. God. Yeah, Thank I wouldn't God. count on her getting your best angle on the camera later. Well, next time we're going. Next time we're going. Right. Okay, so how many bands do you think you saw? Approximately. <sighs> a shit ton. A shit ton. <clears throat> yeah. That is a technical term in case you're not familiar with it. That is I more than four a day. Yes. Yes. I well and I saw several bands more than mm -hmm. once. Did you? Yes. Yeah? The good ones? Yeah? 
the yeah. ones that blew our mind. And you know, was, did you have you? You haven't gone to the music part before. No, I haven't. No. This is my first year to go at all. That's right. And I have not. No, I did not go to the music part. It was insane. Yeah. Yes. Insane. So, more it, insane than interactive is yes. what I hear. Like, I hear that once the interactive people leave, then all the music festival people get there, and then it's just freaking crazy. It's like there's triple the number of people present. You yes. can't walk down the street. All of that is true. Wow. <laughs> it's it's true. Well, you know, you've got, I mean, six Street is perfect. I mean, Austin, so who was it? Somebody asked me why Portland didn't have... The South by Southwest. Because we don't have six. But it's like it, it's all about the geography. Mm-hmm. Sixth Street is perfect mm-hmm. for South by Southwest. Yeah, because there's so many venues. There's so many venues, like pow, 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 pow. So, and every venue is run by somebody different. So, yeah. like, so yes, yes, they have a suggested lineup. They yeah. have a lineup, you know, outside. Yeah. But you got people who are late to show up. You've got, you know, maybe venues that aren't really good about making people suit up. And mm-hmm. so there's a lot of there's a lot of juggling. So more than once I would show up to hear a band that didn't play. Yeah. Somebody else played. Hmm. And so it was like uh for somebody who's really into knowing what they're doing at all hours, you know, it it was it was an experience. Yeah, you're not really a wanderer. Show. You're not really like just a wanderer show up and see what's happening. You you're structured you're a structured kind of girl. Yes, I am. Yes, yeah. I am. But and then it was all about the geography too. Yeah. So it's like it's like, okay, so I know from experience that this menu runs late. Mm-hmm. So I could I could roll the dice and go to this one, mm-hmm. or I could go Hoping. across town, or I could go to this one that's right next door because I know that that one is usually on time. So mm-hmm. if it's if it's late next door, I could run. A so what were, were there sessions for the for the music part? I mean, so you obviously going to all the venues, you're seeing the performance. Yeah. Um, but for interactive, it's all. It's all talks. It's yeah. all panels. I mean, that's what you're doing. You, you, if, if you want to attend that, that's what you're going to. Mm-hmm. Um, but music, there's all these performances. And then when, what's the conference part? I attended like? one music one panel. panel. <laughs> and I didn't go to any film stuff, which is, I'm, I'm ashamed, shame yeah. because I had that, that sweet-ass platinum badge. I know, you were so I'm proud of that thing. I'm going to have, I'm going to shellac that fucker. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. like hanging on It was on pretty. Wall. It was very pretty. It'll be a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> um, I went to one panel, and that was the one that Dave Annel- Allen sat on, and it had to do with social media mm-hmm. and bands. So you went all the way to Austin, only went to one music panel, and it was because you were seeing someone that lives in Portland anyway? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. <laughs> I see. What of it? That doesn't seem silly, because <laughs> I saw a lot of Portland stuff. Oh, shut up. It was fine. It was good. No, I did. I, I saw a lot of Portland. Like, that was the that was the interesting thing about going to South by Southwest is there there there's a lot of grouping that goes <laughs> no. on. You you're there to hang out with your pals from wherever you are, and you go and you do your South by Southwest. But you know, still you're like, hey, look at all these people I know from where I live. I know. And I could see randomly in my like, town. Hey, I know you. Yeah, that that was like there were people that I knew were there, and mm-hmm. that was awesome. But then there were people that I was like, oh, I didn't know you were here. And then I also like literally almost bumped into a guy that I I didn't go to high school with. I think he went to high school with a boyfriend of mine. So he went to high school across town from me, and we were at a party at the Luster Pearl. And I looked at him, and I was like, God, that looks just like Greg. Funny. <laughs> Huh. Yeah. And I just kind of like, kind of, uh, mm. you know, I've probably been drinking too much to make these kind of value judgments on what someone looks like. So I just kind of wrote it off. And then I was looking at Facebook later and I saw that he had checked in at the IHOP that was next to the Luster Pearl. And I was like, huh, that was Greg. Funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's it's not funny. To, that is not funny to anyone but me. I'm I'm aware no, of that. No, no, it's no, okay. It's funny. Well, that, that kind of it's stuff okay. happened all the it's time not... in South by Southwest. Like little sprinkles of magic. You know, there was a whole little sprinkles of magic. There's this whole limo story you don't even know about. No, I was. Tell me about the limo story. I don't know if I should. <sighs> <laughs> you know the limo story. Was the limo the limo happened the night of my, my incident, didn't it? Happened the night of what? Did it happen the night that I fell in boom? It did because I remember you tweeting about the. It what? 
did. Did it? Did it happen the night that I crushed my ankle? Yeah. Yeah. So I couldn't go. I was. I was. Um, I was unconscious in my hotel room at that point. I'm sorry. I don't like to rub it in. It's okay. Because it was awesome. Oh my god! Tell me the story. <laughs> This is where we can devolve. We only have like 10 minutes left of the show, so now this is where we can go ahead and... I don't know. we got to stick to the schedule, Cammie. You know, well, we, reserved... we reserved the last part for the for the crazy babble talk. Oh, right. Do we well, have maybe something, something will happen. Do we have something else important that we need to cover? Yes, I need a lot of money quickly. Okay, so in, in order for... I'm not even going to pull that crap. But give Michelle some money, please. Give her some money and... and um, you get some awesome things in You return. get some awesome things. And I'll let her tell the story of, uh, of me twisting my ankle. Because <laughs> um, I am so off graceful. With Cammie, when she doesn't feel well, can be a bitch. Oh my God, yes, I can. <laughs> And I can really, because I and not would like, have done the same thing. Not like a tiny little bit bitchy. I feel so bad for that guy and that girl on the, the oh, go, yeah, you tell. Because no one will believe me I'm not that I'm that mean. <laughs> because like, we all think you are an angel. Okay. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. So, it was a blisteringly hot day in Austin, Texas. I think it was a Thursday. What day did we get there? <laughs> we got anyway. there on Thursday. It was Saturday or something. I don't know. It was a day that we were there. It was a day that we were there, yeah. and I was, it was, I very was hungry warm. and lonely. Mm -hmm. So I DM'd Cammie, I believe, and said, you know, let's hook up and eat. And let's I eat said, some food. yeah. Right. Let's do so that. We, we met on the streets, uh -huh. and Cammie was... Adorable looking <laughs> in this black, this white and black polka dot shirt dress thing that's kind mm -hmm. of like poofed out and, and shit on like like hardcore <laughs> like motorcycle boots and stuff. But she was all like hot. This is why you're a writer. You have amazing attention to detail. Thank you very much. I love that dress. Hot. Thank you. <clears throat> she was hot up until the moment. Where she, I don't, I, I looked, I looked at what you tripped on, and like, I, I was not impressed. It was like a... It was like a pothole in the sidewalk. Yeah, not so no, much. not so it much? Was, okay, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, it, it was technically a, a hole. In the sidewalk. Yes, but I've seen worse. <laughs> I know. I I'm walked graceful. over worse many times in Austin. <laughs> and then I looked after, after you fell and said mean, mean things to strangers that were trying to help you. <laughs> <It's> horrible. <laughs> I was looked really at the mean. offending, you know, tripping area, uh -huh, and uh -huh. I was like... Did you see what that sidewalk did to me? Yeah, I did. It scraped me up pretty bad, and I couldn't walk on my ankle I know. without sedation. He, he, you know, <laughs> but you were so cute. <laughs> Thank you. You were still friggin' cute. Even when I was Pitchy. cussing at poor and innocent strangers who were trying to help me. So, so <sighs> we, were, we were headed towards the iron... Cactus. Yeah, for my margatinis. And and we were almost there. We were like two doors away. No, no, it was right in front. We were like in front of the door. <laughs> we were in front of the door because but I lived inside. Right, that's right. <laughs> to get you some, some ice. I commandeered you some ice. I wanted a drink is what I wanted. <laughs> but now that you were injured, we couldn't go there anymore. For we some had... reason. Yes. Well, because it was decided that I needed to go back to the hotel room rather than eat something. Right, but we didn't get far before we decided that that was a stupid idea because that I we should eat. And ice, e eat yes. and ice, and I had fried pickles. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it was disgusting. <laughs> it was horrible. But yeah. Yeah, it was horrible. But you were cute. Thank you. And you were sweet. Yeah. Even though it was super, super, super bitchy. That poor man. I, I could relate. That poor man, like he... It was not pretty. I was, was trying not, not to vomit from pain. <laughs> Tell us the story about the limo now that we've gone through this. Okay, fine. Thank you. All right. So, my roomie was my roomie was Stephanie Wagner, uh -huh. who is a great networker. Uh huh. This girl is amazing. Uh huh. So, it's been a long day. She's walking back to our hotel room, mm -hmm. and this uh, limo driver pulls over and asks her where all the parties are. <laughs> And Stephanie's like, seriously? She was a limo driver, you should know that. And she was a little, you know, irritated. Yeah. 
So this guy um, was uh, understood that he offended her and uh-huh. decided to make it up for her and said, you know, get in the back of the limo and I'll drive you home. And she's like, yeah, right. And she keeps walking. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I was like, no, really, 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 get in, you know, I'll drive you to your home. I'm really sorry. I'm new in the area. I'm, you know, I'm trying to find, you know, some work, you know, let's get in the, in the limo and I'll drive you home. Mm-hmm. So he drove her back to the hotel, and by the time they got back to the hotel, they, they had made BFFs. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. And so he came back later and picked us all, all up. Uh-huh. And in the limo, we drove around until about 5 o'clock in the morning. Nice. It was hot. Yeah? Yeah. Very nice. It's my first time in a limo. So it was your first time in a limo? Yeah. Don't really? Make, I know. Ever? Don't make me say it. Say it. First time ever. <sighs> wow. <laughs> That's, it's good though. You got a really fun first time. Are you happy now you said it? I let you tell the people how bitchy and mean I was to that poor man on the street. <laughs> but I understand. I told someone that I, I was really you. mean and they were like, you were not. Oh, you were not. And I was like, um... Oh, yeah. Um, I was like, oh. Oh, yes, I was mean, actually. I've done the same The man wanted to crawl away and die. (laughs) I felt really bad, but I had no idea who he was. He's probably like, remember that horrible, evil bitch woman his entire life that like ripped him a new one? Yeah, you've ruined his life. I know I have. He's never going to help another woman again. No, he's never going to help. And he's never going to see a woman who falls and painfully twists her ankle in a cute dress. It was such a cute dress. Again, (laughs) Thank you. Um, No, because I ruined that for him. He was probably an incredibly chivalrous gentleman. Obviously. He came to your rescue. And now he's just decided to... When the rest of us were just standing there (laughs) looking at you. Oh, my God. (laughs) Oh, she's falling. You guys were a little stunned. It's okay. She's on the ground. Yeah. And to be fair, you were afraid I was going to rip your head off as well, probably, after... Well, we knew better. Yeah. Yeah. This guy did not know better. No, he did not. He paid the price. Oh, he did not know better. It was... It was bad. Okay, you've got ten more minutes to fill. Uh, Ask them for money. <laughs> Tell them what they get. Tell them how pretty your stories are. Tell them to listen to the pretty music. Yeah, listen to whatever. Give them a sneak. Tell them, you know what? This is what you have to do. Tell them a little bit of what's going to happen in the very last segment. Oh, man. Yeah, that's what we want. That's okay, what we well, want to know. how about this? I can't, I can't do that, can we, Chaos? Because oh, yes, you can, media chick. It's all a secret. It's all a secret. And plus, I haven't actually figured it all out yet. I know you haven't. <laughs> I know you haven't. <laughs> so, to be honest... So, what are you going to do for us instead? <clears throat> what am I going to what? What are you going to do for us instead, since you won't let us in on the secrets because you don't know well, them? Well, I'll, I'll explain how I, I, I write a segment. Okay. Give us give the, us the, insight into the process. The, the writing process is messy. Yes. And painful. Uh-huh. So I start off with each act has an outline, so okay. I know kind of what happens in each segment. And uh, I start off with that, mm-hmm. and then I have a bunch of songs. That I have you written to. the outline for this one yet? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Yes. I'm Just checking. Along. Just checking. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's the it's the it's the fictional elements that sticks all of the true life elements Correct. together that I because it's still loosely have to, based on reality. It's very much based on reality. I'm saying loosely for <laughs> legal reasons. <laughs> Okay, it's loosely based on reality. It's a fictionalized true story. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, <laughs> so you have the outline, mm-hmm. and that helps you to incorporate all of the fictionalized aspects and mm-hmm. like overlay them with what happened. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. But while I'm writing, I'm listening to a bunch of songs. Usually yeah. six to eight songs that are going to be used mm-hmm. in in the piece. And when are those chosen? Sometimes, like an hour before um, I publish. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this is a, a lot of people don't understand how hard <laughs> it is to produce one of these things. Is is because not only is it a very sensitive, personal, very personal story, mm-hmm. um, and I have to be respectful of what I decide to give away as far as information. Not just for yourself, but for others. other people. Yeah. Yes. Um, I also want it to be entertaining, mm-hmm. so there's there's a lot of embellishment and um, uh, 
let's just leave it at that okay. embellishment. Embellishment. On on, uh, and sometimes I'll move things around as far as time mm-hmm. goes to mm-hmm. make it flow right. Mm-hmm. So the, the last real life one, does not always flow the way it should. No, no, <laughs> no. Um, luckily, <laughs> you have artistic liberty. That's right. <laughs> so um, so I can make it nice and juicy. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> and so. I have to, I have all these these restraints to write a segment, and then I have like a timeline mm-hmm. too. So like several times, many many times, I have been up until four or five o'clock in the morning on Mondays, editing, mm-hmm. publishing, and of course there's mm-hmm. technical difficulties mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's really kind of like a like a flash. I don't know, spontaneous. Uh, I really am starting from scratch. Yeah. Every week. Yeah. Every week. So where are you now? Let's let's have a little progress update. Where are you with this one? Because you've got two days. Oh, no. <laughs> you've got hey. this weekend to write. Are you behind? Are you behind schedule? I'm always behind. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always behind. Um, but I'm further along this week than I was last week. Good. Um, last week, this is this is how last my week there were like frantic tweets that they. <laughs> I remember last week. Yeah, like on on Sunday, <laughs> Excuse I was me. on Sunday I was done finishing. Yeah. At 10 p.m. Yeah. writing it. Yeah. So you weren't even into the editing yet. I uh, I had already gone through one pass of editing and had added more things. Mm-hmm. I think this is how it was like. like it comes back to me, it's not, and then then I realize that I was missing something, and I got to add more stuff. So then I got new content that nobody's seen before. Mm-hmm. So I was like, it's last Sunday. It was it was 10 p.m. I couldn't stay awake any longer. I had been up since five o'clock working on this. <clears throat> so I went to sleep. I got up at two, mm-hmm. and I worked until 9:30. It was the first time I was ever late, actually. Yeah. By two hours, but it was it was really. Because what's your what's your published date? What's your push time? Six thirty a.m. Six thirty a.m. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. It was last week was really for many reasons. It was it was one of the times where I had everything right, but then I realized that there was this whole other layer that needed to be. It, it, let me just say that after I was done putting another thousand words into it, after mm-hmm. my editor had seen it, it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it was more awesome. <laughs> but it, it's like I didn't know that it needed more stuff until after it came back to me, and I was like, what, what is this shit? What is, <laughs> this isn't right. <laughs> no. Okay. And that has been the most difficult one. No. Was, no? No, I've had much more difficult ones. No. That one was the one where I had, where I got it back, and I need, it needed more than then I had time allotted. Okay. But it was fine. When are you going to do the epilogue? When am I going to what? When are you going to do the epilogue? So you July said this is the end. July 6th. On July 6th, you'll publish the epilogue. Yeah, Very nice. From the day. Very nice. Yeah. It's like you orchestrated this whole thing. I'm crafty that way. <laughs> very, very interesting. All right. I think we're going to go ahead and say goodnight. But first, I want you to tell them where the website is. Tell them to give you money and where to go give you money and tell them where to find you on Twitter. Okay. That's a lot to remember. Okay. I'm Do at it. The, the Miracle in July. Mm-hmm. Is Dot the, com. Um, the, where the story is. Mm-hmm. You can give me your money mm-hmm. or invest in bliss. I like to say Invest that. in bliss. I invest like that. Invest in bliss at bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash destination D-K. Okay. Yeah, there, there. There it is up on the site. Yep. And mm-hmm. I'll have the links in the post as well. Yes. And your media chick on Twitter. I am media chick. Little M, big C. C. Media chick. Doesn't, not like Twitter really is cap sensitive or anything. Do you have any parting words for the ladies and gentlemen? For the boys and girls? I hope boys and girls aren't watching this. Uh, parting notes. words, yeah. Um, support 
the future of, of um, storytelling. Nice. And actually, I, uh, even if you're not a storyteller, you know, if you if you see me at an event, please come up and introduce yourself. There's a lot of people that I know on Twitter She's that I super haven't friendly. met in real life. Yeah. I'd like to shake your hand. She's super friendly. And try to get money out of you. Yeah, that's true. She's going to mug you. She's going <laughs> to she's gonna have Sarah walk up and kind of bump into you so she can reach into your pocket. And, but she will send you that shirt if she takes enough money. I mean, she's... I'll wear the shirt for you if you want me to. Yeah, it's all. Don't listen to me, really. She's. Oh, hi. Don't listen to me. She's awesome. Um, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you back here next week. And I hope you guys all have a great night. Bye. Bye.